Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. So we're still making our way towards the Capitol building where we're going to drop off Ellie to the Fireflies in exchange for some weapons as she is immune to the um, infection and hopefully will be able to help the scientists discover a new vaccine for the disease. I just want to show you how limited the ammunition is in this game on this difficulty grounded. I've fired three bullets in the whole game so far. We're about an hour and a half to two hours in, into the game. I've only got eight bullets in total remaining. <laughs> That's how limited like your bullets are in this difficulty. We've got a little cabinet we can search there. Not a minute. So we've got an infected here to the right. He's going to patrol around. Going to creep on over this side. We've got another one right there. We've got to be careful not to tread on any broken glass as well. I think it's better to maybe... I'm just going to sneak on past everyone here. I'm not going to test it, trying to kill anyone. Because to kill clickers, actually, you need a shiv. And I don't think I've got any shivs on me. So, um... I can, I can choke out normal infected. Like that one over there. Whoa, that clicker's loud. Getting closer and closer. You've got to creep pretty much this slow. I think as well, on this difficulty, you're more likely to get spotted. To be heard. There's a clicker right there. Got to shake my pad there to refresh my um, flashlight. We're going to choke out this infected right here. If Tess doesn't get in the way. Ooh. Okay, so we're still undetected. Got a little cabinet to open. These are all empty. You probably would expect it all to be empty as well, seeing as it's 20 years into the, you know, the end of the world. Okay, we're gonna stay very quiet. I can keep my flashlight on here as well because the clickers can't see. So we're gonna we're heading on over this way to the left now. We're gonna make sure there's no clickers behind this wall, and then we jump over through the window. So let's jump over there. Okay. So we are heading up there in that hole. But it's like, what the hell? Don't make so much noise. Whoa. Um. See this clicker here though? He's guarding the. If we were to make some noise now trying to get up there, he would become aware and attack us. So let me just see if I can craft the shiv. I can. I'm going to use a shiv on this clicker now. And take him out. Just because it's the easiest way to do it. So if we sneak up right in front of him. And we just shiv him. So, that's still quiet. Um, yeah, because the only way you can actually stealth kill a clicker is with a shiv. So we're going to boost Tess up here to get the ladder down. As well, in this area here, the subway, there are shops around, there's places you can scavenge. There's also a safe you can hack into if you get the code from somewhere over that side. Then go over that way, you can get into the safe. But on this difficulty with the heightened um, senses of the clickers, uh, it's a bit of a difficult task. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to waste too much time faffing around. I want to progress through the game. Holy shit. We actually made it. Everyone okay? Yes, let's move. You guys are pretty good at this stuff. It's called luck. And it is gonna run out. Yeah, no one kind of lives for forever, do they, in this type of environment. So there's an abandoned building here with two two entrances. Where are we going, Tess? It's a door and a hole. Capital building's in this direction. So the building's beyond this um, truck that's blocking the road. So we need to find a way up to get over this truck. And the answer to that solution is actually... See that cabinet right there? We need to grab a hold of that and bring it out. But also, there's, I think, three infected inside. So we're going to go through this doorway. And um, try and take out these infected stealthily. We want to reserve as much ammo as we can. So I'll turn the flashlight off to just give ourselves more of a chance of not being detected. Okay, those clickers are very close to each other. Normally you can take them both out stealthily, but on this difficulty I'm not sure. So we're going to try this one. We're going to choke them. 
Yeah, that's fine. So that one's being dealt with. There's one over now on this corner. I'm going to take this one out first because it's further away. And it's facing the other way as well. Oh, don't make so much noise. I don't think click um, infected here noises that you make in the environment. You know, if you nudge a bin or like that post, that pole. They do hear broken glass though if you walk on it. That is a mechanic that's part of the game. So we're going to creep around the outside of this while this clicker is... Sorry, I keep calling the clickers infected. It's going a bit crazy. There we go, stamp on its face. Whoa! Where's your head at? Because that was the last thing infected in the area, you just kind of do a brutal kill. All right. They're recently infected. The soldiers must have just turned. Which means there's more in the area. We gotta go. Okay, so there's nothing in here to be found. No resources. So we're gonna push this in. What is this? It's not a piano, is it? It's like just a cabinet. Maneuver this over towards the truck, and we'll jump over. Climb on up. There's also an entrance here to the truck, so we're going to jump in here, check out what's inside. Any health we can find, or there's a note. Was that a note? Normally it gives you the option to read it. There we go. Medical pamphlet. So it's just treatment for just keeping yourself he healthy and hygienic so you don't let less chance of being infected, I guess. So let's make our way through this doorway now. Maybe we can cut through here. Yeah, that works out great. I'm just saying. What? I don't hear anything. Okay, double time. They're coming! I know! Okay, that's good, that's good, go! That was too close. You got something on your shoe. <laughs> Okay, how do we get out of this place? Let's find out. Well, I would never have figured that out if the game didn't tell me. There's a door to go through. I mean, you must have been somewhere you shouldn't to find an infected in a zone. Yeah, I, I'd sneak out. I was in this military boarding school. You'd sneak out? You know, explore the city. I was in the mall when I ran into Infected. That place is completely off limits. How the hell did you get in there? I had my ways. Anyways, one of those, what you guys call runners, bit me, and that was that. I see. Were you with Marlene when you were bitten? No. I went to her for help afterwards. <laughs> Knowing her, I'm surprised she didn't shoot you. <sighs> yeah, I'm scared. Oh, she's all right. It's over. Here we go, we've got one more bullet picked up. That aim was a crafting bench back there when they were talking. Um, I want to save my materials to craft the weapon holsters first before anything else because, you know, that way you can switch between your weapons quicker. And I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of shooting anyway, just yet. Okay, so there's a door that way. I want to also check this door. Anything we can pick up? Come on, let me yes, there's actually something in the drawer. We found some scissors we can use to make some shivs. Nothing in this drawer. Nope. Okay, let's go for this, this way now. This door should lead to the same room the other door did. I'm kind of like a museum right now. With all abandoned um, artifacts and stuff. Like this display cabinets. There's a vase right there. Shake my flashlight. Oh, the way Ellie as well. Watch this. You look as you look at her with the flashlight. She kind of turns her face away. 
that's just a really cool feature. Look at the shadows in the background as well and how they're captured. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, oh. Ellie. Sorry, sorry, that was me. Yes. Sorry. Come on, stick on. <laughs> Joel's just like Tess, tell her. Keep an eye on her. This is definitely a museum. Some um, Civil War stuff in there. Shit. What is this thing? It's an old museum. Some of these things are hundreds of years old. Really? Thing as well about Ellie is that she doesn't know much about how the world works. She doesn't really probably understand what a museum is because she was born after they were after they infected, so they weren't really a functional thing where you would go to to learn about history. You're just gonna survive. That's all she's been living so far. Survive and endure. Watch your head. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm alive. I'll, I'll make my way around. Look, they're here. Yes. Run. Run. Okay, that's not good. We need to find another way around. Okay, there's a passageway here. It's gonna be some infected now. Messing with Tess and Ellie. Which way are we gonna go? Okay, there's infected right there. Let's creep back slowly, slowly. I'm not going that way. I think that's a clicker. Yeah, it is. It's clicking. So we'll leave that door closed. We'll just make our way through this side. There's another clicker right ahead there. We're gonna go into this side room first. Is there something inside here? I can hear noise, like, very loud. Okay, it's safe Tess. here for the moment. We can move around a bit quicker. Tess. Shit. So Tess isn't in here. We guess we'll check for anything we can find while we're in this little um, canteen section. Hey, there's, there's, there's shite all in here. There's a door there. Maybe we can open. It's possibly a shiv door. Yeah, need full shiv. Let me just quickly check if I can craft one. No, I can't. I haven't got enough um, components. Need more scissors to craft that shiv. So, we can't go that way. There's a clicker right there. Um, it might be worthwhile distracting this guy with a brick. Throw it through there. So now while that's checking out that noise over there, we can go through this door. No, don't forget to close the door behind you, Joel. Is that an option? It's not an option. Uh, always close the doors behind you. Especially when it's infected. And also it stops a draft. It's actually still... Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! That's my 2 by 4 gone. Right, this, this section becomes very tricky now. Headshot, bitch. Okay, got a headshot on that guy as well. Need to switch weapons now. I'm gonna fist fight these guys. Is that everyone? Are we clear? No. Are we shite? Got that guy. We've got no weapons to use at the moment. Gonna let test fight that guy over there. We'll take this one out. Smash his face in. I'll help test on this one. Definitely need to use a med pack after all this. Okay, so we can reload this gun. So I think Joel, yeah, Joel's left definitely limping. We need to use a health pack. So I bandage ourselves up there. And I'm going to switch to the other weapon because it's obviously got more bullets in it now. It's got five bullets compared to two. 
at the moment as well, my aiming accuracy is like very it sways a lot because I need to put points in it to make it better. So let's just quickly check these corpses, see if there's any ammo on them. No, there isn't. That's kind of one of the parts where it's like you're forced to um, use melee. I mean, use weapons. Excuse me. Tess, how are you holding up? Just a bit winded. Look this way. This will get us to the roof. I may as well craft another. Actually, I don't need to craft it just yet. What about you, kid? Are you okay? It's a fine okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panicked breaths count? Yeah, they count. Right. And I'm okay. <laughs> we gotta find a way across. There she is. That's our building. So it doesn't feel like we're getting any closer. That's how far it was, how far away it was last time. What have we got over here? We've got a board we can pick up. Okay, we can use this now to get to the next rooftop. Turn my flashlight off for outside. It's not too dark. Alright. Now watch your step as you're going out, because it's gonna be a little bit. Thing you hope for. Jury's still out. But man, can't deny that view. Come on, this way. Hey, let's pick it up. Look, we're almost done. We stay focused. Yes, ma'am. this corner. Come on. Let's keep moving, kid. Alright, now it's looking a bit closer. Definitely getting there. Nothing around this corner. Doesn't look like there is. Let's make our way down here. So I'm only going to use health packs in this game if Joel's starting to like limp and look really injured. What's this we've got here? We've got one more bullet found. Some firefly orders right here. They won't be. But how do you know? I just do. Alright, so patrol the rendezvous area, ensure no military presence before moving the girl to the next safe house. Make sure the girl is well fed and in good health. Her safety is of the mo utmost importance. So yeah, they're all taught all the fireflies that main focus is on Ellie. She's definitely an important factor to Whatever they're interested in doing. So we're gonna move this bin now over to the same. What's it called? Scaffold. Under construction. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Whee! There we go. Home stretch, Tess. Come on, give me something I can pick up around here. Nah, of course there's nothing. So there's the building. That's it right there. The red brick building. We still got a brick? Yeah, we got a brick still. Um, just so it's out there, I can't swim. Look, it looks like it's shallow on the right side. Follow me. Mm, it's very dirty as well. I'm Marlene hired you guys. What do you mean? I know you guys are getting paid for this, but... Um, trying to save things. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, so we've got the building right here. Um, before we actually go inside, guys, we're going to end it here. And we're going to start the next part as we enter the building. And meet up with the Fireflies. So, as, if you like the video, please do leave a like. And also subscribe to the channel. I will be putting out daily videos every day. Alright, so I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.